Hey, hey, this is Tomomi, a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this video, I will show you how to get started with Teams app development using this VS Code extension called Teams Toolkit and its new features introduced to the latest V3. So before getting started, there are some prerequisites, so please take a look at the official docs here at aka.ms slash teamsappjs. This is case sensitive, so that should take you to this doc. And this is this is for JavaScript. And click this prerequisite and see what you need. So I assume you already have Teams client, Node.js installed in your machine, and a Chromium-based browser like Edge or Chrome and VS Code. So let's install this toolkit here. Oh, also you do need a Microsoft 365 account to be able to develop Teams app, but I'm not showing how in this video. But if you need one, please refer to docs. So you can just scroll this and right here. So create a free Teams developer tenant and you can just follow this instruction. All right. So let's open up the VS Code where you can install the Teams Toolkit from this extension menu right here. And type Teams Toolkit here. And click the Install. So now you should get this Teams icon right here. So click that. All right, why don't we just create a new app? Click this, create a new Teams app and click here again. Uh, he has some capabilities here. So I have another video explaining what they are with my drawings. So check that out if you haven't. So here, maybe I'm gonna click this tab and bot. Okay, click JavaScript and app name. I just give some name. It can't be anything for now. All right. Now toolkit is generating an app scaffolding. It's already done. Yeah, let's take a look at the tabs section here. Tabs, the source, all right, index.jsx. So notice this is built with React.js. And you don't need to use React, but building apps with web components, you know, you can take full advantage of the design systems we have. So you can achieve the team's look and feel. So now let's take a look at the components here and app.jsx. So see, we have something called a Fluent UI slash React North Star. So Fluent UI is Microsoft's UX library and the React North Star is a React component with Teams look and feel. So let's take a look at this bot right here. So on the other hand, bot doesn't require you to work on that, you know, like a front end UI. So you just write the functionality that works directly on Teams UX. So here you see the template written in Node.js. So let's try this app on Teams client because this template should work as it. So let's do it. So, well, first you need to sign in to your M365 account. So now I did it. And to try out this app, press F5, or you can just manually go to a debug mode from here. And I'm gonna just choose debug edge and run. So what Toolkit is doing now is that registering the app to Azure Active Directory and it starts the app backend running locally using Azure Function Core tools, as well as starting app frontend hosts it locally. Also, it generates an app manifest, which is like in a config file for this app and registering it in a developer portal. Teams uses the app manifest to tell the client where to load the app from. Anyway, this might take a while and you might get a lot about SSL. If you do that, um, just continue. So if everything goes well, that should open up in a browser. It might ask you to open in a desktop client, but keep using the browser version because you know it's better that way when you develop and debug. 
All right, so now add the app here and see how this uh, sample app works. So first one, you see the bot. So you can try that bot out, but I'm gonna just quickly show you the tab as well. So here's a tab portion. So this is kind of like just a web page on the iframe. And this sample comes with an example of how to use Graph API, which allows you to grab some data like user info. And in this case, a user photo. And when you try that, uh, that comes with a user permission. So basically asking you for the consent. So this was how you get started with your Teams app with Toolkit. And now I want to show you the new features come with Toolkit V3. This update was especially to empower developers to build enterprise Teams app. The latest Toolkit support to manage multiple environments and that integrates with ARM and BICEP templates and also collaborations. Now it is easier to add collaborators to your project. So let me show you. So click the Teams Toolkit icon and see the environment. By default, it has a local and dev environment. Now. So, but now you can add more. So this is for when you provision and deploy your app to Azure. Uh, so you do need to have an Azure account. So let's log in here. Now let's create a stage environment. So click this plus icon and type some name, or in this case, stage. And going back to the file, and you can take a look at this .fx and configs. So each environment has two JSON files to allow you to customize your environment. One is the Azure parameter JSON file uh, to customize Azure resource provision. And another one is a config.json file to customize known Azure resources. With this new update, you can edit your Teams app manifest here too. You can run this app from stage two. So let's go back to this Teams. And from deployment, it's a little bit hard to see in this resolution, but let's see. Uh, click provision in the cloud and the select the target environment just created. Then choose a resource group from here. We'll create a new one. Then location and just you can confirm the provision. All right, it looks like it's successfully provisioned. Now you can see the status here you know, the, the environment right here. So it's provisioned. And you can click this uh, globe icon here to see that and Azure portal site as well. So that takes you to the web page. Now the app is deployed to the stage environment successfully. And you can preview the app by clicking the play icon here too. So that should open the Teams client and then the browser. So the difference from the last time is, you know, uh, you were running the app locally last time, but this time, you know, the whole, everything, like this app is pulled from your stage environment in Azure. And you can customize the Azure resource provision for different environment using ARM template. Let's go to templates, Azure, the provision. Yeah, you see some bicep files. So this is actually another major upgrade in this latest toolkit. The ARM template is a set of bicep files that defines the infrastructure and configuration for your Teams app. You can also edit those files showed earlier and Azure the parameter the JSON file to customize the template. Also, the collaboration feature, that's a good one. 
So now, on Teams Toolkit supports collaboration features so that you can add different collaborators to different cloud environments. Under the environment here, so from here, you can click to add a collaborator, this icon right here, and then enter an email of your collaborator. Press enter. You can also click the icon next to, let's say, list M365 Teams app owners. So you can see the list of collaborators of each environment right here. So you can just push the project to GitHub so that your collaborators can clone the repo and work on the project remotely by signing in on their own M365 and Azure accounts. So if you would like to learn more about the Teams Toolkit features, go to the docs at aka.ms slash teams toolkit docs. I hope this video helped you to build some apps with Teams Toolkit. We have a lot more videos about Teams, Graph, and everything around Microsoft 365 in this channel. So please check them out. All right, thank you and bye now.